Hello and welcome. My name's Nick and I'm a photographer and I'm here to teach you today about how to take your photo from this and turn it into this. So let's get into it. So this technique is called dodging and burning. Uh, you may have heard of it, you may not. You can do it in any photo editing software that has the ability to do local adjustments, meaning uh, affecting a particular part of the image, not just the whole image, which is a global adjustment. These few images I'm gonna share with you today kind of demonstrate how this can really make your photos pop. So what dodging and burning does is manipulates certain parts of the image's exposure by either raising the exposure or lowering the exposure. The terminology here dates back to the film days and photography in the dark room uh, where you would edit the, you would physically edit the exposure on the actual film itself. Now I can't go into a whole bunch of detail on how that process is done because I've never done it before. I've never shot film before. So I'm going to show you the digital equivalent of it and I'm using Lightroom. Here is the first image that I want to show you that I use this on. So this is the image without dodge the dodging and burning effect applied to it. And here it is before any edits have been done. So I raised the exposure and added a bit of contrast and raised up the shadows in the image in a little bit of a saturation tweak and this is what i came up with now the image is kind of flat so what you can do is add this effect to it so you can see the difference that that makes it's a subtle difference but it really adds some depth in your image i started doing this probably a year ago with my photos and i don't do it to every single photo it doesn't necessarily need it but what this can do to your images is give more depth and that make them look more three-dimensional by changing the light. Now dodging and burning isn't just adding basic contrast in your image because what that what just contrast does is it pushes the white values more towards white and the black values more towards black whereas dodging and burning edits the exposure of every pixel in the selected area. So it gives a uh, different effect than just basic contrast or just basic editing of the highlights and shadows and also it enhances a particular part of the image that you would want the viewer to go to in this case it is the it's sort of this winding pathway of water here that i have brushed on the added exposure value and all around it that i have taken down the exposure value to draw attention to the center of the frame and into this waterway here. So I'm going to delete these two brushes and we're going to re-edit this dodging and burning effect. So we're back here on our image after we've done all of our basic edits to it and we're gonna start out with dodging. So go to your brush, go to effect and select dodge lighten. Now this has a base value of 0.25 increase of the exposure. Again, you could change that as much as you want. The brush is already set with a max feather size and also a medium flow. And what flow does, if you don't know on a brush, is it basically has a compounding effect on the image. So take for example uh, a pencil. If you color on a piece of paper with a pencil lightly, but keep coloring in the same spot, it'll get darker and darker and darker. So the same thing kind of applies here. As you go over the same spot again and again and again, whatever effect that you have selected will compound and become more pronounced on the image. And you wanna have a nice feather on the brush because you don't want this to be a harsh, hard-lined effect. So we're just going to increase the size a little bit and start brushing it in. So just getting along the waterway here, decreasing our brush size as we get closer to the background. And you don't have to be like super accurate with this because like I said, you should have a nice feather on your brush and the flow set low, you know, your first pass isn't going to do much. So if I turn this off and back on, you can see just the gentle lift it gives to this. So I wanna make this stack up a little more. So I'm gonna go over it one more time and I'm going to just increase this to 0.45 and that's looking pretty nice. Here's it with it off and back on. So now we're gonna do the burning portion of the edit here. So we're gonna come up to the brush again and hit new. 
make sure you hit new otherwise you'll just be adjusting the same area that you did and we're gonna go down to burn a side note here you could do this in any software it doesn't have to be lightroom that just happened to be the software that i use there's a mobile app called snapseed and that has a preset brush already built in it's free it's by google it allows you to brush in dodging and burning it already has a preset for you so you can use that all right so now on to the burning effect the darkening of the image so the goal here is to make this center area more pronounced so the way we're going to do that is darken the edge over here and over here and you also notice that i haven't really touched the sky and that's because the sky is already very bright in this image so it already has a lot of contrast and interest interesting colors going on so i don't think it really needs anything added to it just this one waterway that needs it extra little push to really enhance this part of the photo so we're going to start brushing in the burn just along here up in these trees a little bit and along this side so we'll turn that off and back on and maybe drag this down a little bit and you don't want to go too far with this effect and lightroom has this feature where you can see where you've painted and i like having that on sometimes so i could see that maybe i missed parts of the image like up here, and there's a hole in this here, so I'll get that and down on the edges. Turn off the brush effect and back on. So this isn't a very um, noticeable effect, but that's the point of this. You don't want to crazy uh, edit it because there's a fine line between a nicely edited photo and an over edited photo. It's kind of like painting. If you overwork the paint, it's going to look just gotta brush it just let it dry then it'll be good so in this case here again subtle subtle effect so I want to show you another image that I use this effect on of my cat here he is this is Kurt Kurt say hi all right it's the completely edited image let me go to the brush turn that off here is the base photo those are the edits that I made to it here's the brush on Here's it off, here's it on, there's it off. So this image looks good both ways. And when I did this, I could enjoy the image either way, but I do like the dodging and burning effect. It creates more of an emphasis on the, his face and also down on the lens right here, I added a little bit of uh, adjustment to it. So I'm gonna select my dodging brush and select the show mask overlay and you can see in red here are all the spots that i have um, painted in the dodging effect and all these areas are areas where light already is and that's another thing about this effect you don't necessarily want to try to create artificial light because then it looks fake you want to enhance the parts of the image that already have the natural light on it and then we can go and select the shadows which is here and you can see the areas. So these areas are basically all the areas where the shadows are already pronounced and I just darken them a little more to create that depth in the image. So that is dodging and burning. I hope you learned something here today about how to enhance your photos through this effect. Again, it's a subtle effect that you wanna to add to the image to just give it that extra, extra push to being uh, a really, really nice image. You can use this in any types of photography, landscape, portraiture, animal images of your cats. Remember to keep the effect subtle and try not to create artificial light too much. And you'll have, hey, and you'll have a great image. So thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, hit a like down there, subscribe. It would mean a lot. It helps me out. And as always, get out there, capture the world and share it. I'll see you in the next one.